Hi there, students. I had a question from Manjira, Manji, about what's the difference between personify, anthropomorphize, and um, pathetic fallacy. Okay, I think I'd like to look at the origins of these different words to start with. Personify comes from French, personifier meaning to give a character to make it something equivalent to a person yeah and personify to be an example of to have all the attributes of or to create a representation of um we have to anthropomorphize okay from anthropos man and morphos the shape so to give something the shape of a human shape and then finally pathetic fallacy so pathetic here comes from the word pathos meaning emotion and fallacy here means um, false so actually pathetic fallacy you might interpret it in, in a different way but it's talking about false emotion okay um and i think today we give uh we talk about uh pathetic fallacy giving um human emotions to uh inanimate objects and uh non-rational creatures okay so let's look at firstly the difference between anthropomorphism and personification i think both of these are very very close um i think they both have the idea of giving human characteristics human emotions human intentions to things that are not human um and i think this is probably um a tendency of human psychology this is something humans do um personification has the uh, same idea you're giving um, uh, the characteristics of hu of humans uh, the characteristics of humans to uh, again inanimate objects or non-rational beings now I was thinking of a difference between personification and anthropomorphization when we use this word personification if we say this person is a great example of it then it's different so for example um, the dictator personified evil okay here you can't use anthropomorphized he was the exact example of he had all the attributes of yeah um but maybe the uh, a writer could personify death as the grim reaper here i think you could use anthropomorphize the grim reaper is a human uh type character although i think personify is better because you're making um it into a person whereas i think anthropomorphization has more the idea of giving uh human characteristics but not necessarily making it a whole person okay so let's see um personification this is very very common in uh, ancient religions for example giving um the elements of our life uh, making them into gods so the god of fire yeah the uh, god of the goddess of the earth yeah um this is personification this is making the earth into a character into a person and giving it uh giving her her and by saying her i'm anthropomorphizing the earth or i'm personifying it um the uh ca certain char human characteristics um yeah the four seasons yeah very often these are 
pers personified, they're made into characters. Or maybe the seven deadly sins, each of these is um, made into a person, and this is the idea of personification. Um, to anthropomorphize is to give human characteristics to abstract concepts um, or natural forces, again, such as the season or the weather. So, for example, for example, um, uh, the uh, angry clouds moved over the city. Yeah, here, angry. This is anthropomorphization of the clouds. Um, I think also particularly anthropomorphization is very common in fables. Uh, now, I'm a great fan of Aesop's fables. And in this, he anthropomorphizes animals. They can speak their characters. They have um, different human characteristics. Yeah. Um, okay. And then we, we are also giving them human emotions and human behavioral traits to uh, wild or domestic animals. So I don't know the um, uh, the the donkey uh, then said to uh, the wolf. Okay, here the, the these are characters. Yes, they are, are personifications, but I think in this case anthropomorphization is a better word, making it giving it human characteristics. Now. Pathetic fallacy. This is a phrase that was first coined by John Ruskin. Um, John Ruskin was uh, an English writer and philosopher and art critic from the Victorian era. However, the meaning of the the meaning that he first used it for has changed quite significantly over time. Um, and pathetic fallacy is nowadays we use it to to mean to give human emotions and the way humans act to things that are found in nature uh, or to animals as well. So it's taught the pathetic fallacy nowadays is giving human emotions to it, whereas for example. Um, the statue the the statuesque clouds were angry statuesque is maybe personification yeah the tall clouds no tall is not a good example um the rolling clouds um, do they roll maybe uh is more personification or whereas um, if we talk about them being angry, this is pathetic fallacy. Now, originally John Ruskin um, talked about, uh, used this word pathetic fallacy as an attack on the sentimentality of uh, the late 18th century poets like uh, uh, Wordsworth or Shelley or Keats and he was saying that they are they're using too much em too many human emotions uh, that are not really valid to describe things um, and he's saying that human emo when we use a human emotion to describe something um, it's because the objects get uh, these emotions not from the thing that we're looking at but from the um, idea that we have in our minds du uh, due to our emotional state or how we are affected by these objects. Okay, so he said that pathetic fallacy, it can be good, but it shouldn't be overused. And it should give the idea of how the uh, reader actually feels about these things. Okay, so 
this this is what really the idea of pathetic fallacy to i think today pathetic fallacy it, it's just talking about giving emotions to things because clearly things can't have inanimate objects can't have uh emotions um i think animals probably can although people might well um disagree with me you can also today use this word pathetic fallacy in science to criticize the use of figurative speech when describing things scientific things because they might not be accurate so for example the phrase nature abhors a vacuum nature hates a vacuum well nature's not capable of hating and um, from a scientific point of view there are much more accurate ways to describe nature and vacuums and the fact that um, natural systems uh, do not tend towards a vacuum this is talking about entropy and things like that okay so I think personification and anthropomorphization are very close. I think pathetic fallacy has is more to do with um, the ascribing of emotions to things. So there you go, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Personification, anthropomorphization, and pathetic fallacy.